Hi, this is Natalia Kokushkina from IntelliCAD Technology Consortium, and this time I want to review our DGN editor. This is a young IntelliCAD project started by an ITC special interest group. The DGN file format currently has only one robust native editor, Bentley MicroStation, and our goal is to create a fully functional DGN editor that would allow users to run solutions for both DWG and DGN file formats in the same application. Currently, IntelliCAD supports the DGN format natively, so all you have to do to start working with it is to select DGN file in the open dialog. I have to mention that two years ago, the DGN editor worked only as a viewer, without editing capabilities. Since that time, lots of improvements have been accomplished. On the DGN ribbon, you can see all commands available currently. You can create basic entities. You can move, copy, delete, offset, and explode. You can manage layers and colors and create and insert blocks, scale, rotate, trim, extend, fillet, explode commands are available from the edit tab. Several snap options are already implemented and you can zoom and pan with OnDraGen. Printing options are available and scripting too. Here is the full list of commands that are implemented for the DGN editor. About 30% of creation commands are available and 50% of overall commands work for DGN and this list continues to grow. Let's make some changes on this DGN file. I want to continue these two lines using grips and perpendicular snap. Also, let's create a couple more lots using the offset command and grips again. Now I need to number these lots. I've copy-pasted an existing number for the first lot and created a text entity using the text command for the second. I'm calling the improp command to make some corrections. First, let's move text and lines to the appropriate layers and at the end change the text content. So you can see that working with DGN files is the same as with the WG files. I want to show you another opportunity for working with DGN files, script execution. This script using offset, copy, and fillet commands to create basketball field. Also, the script runs for both DGN and DWG files. During block creation and insertion, the DGN editor is using the same dialogs as for DWG files. Only annotations don't work in the current implementation. You can see the functionality in DGN and DWG is very similar, but some terminology is different. For example, layer in DWG is level in DGN, block is a cell, polyline is a smart line, and etc. The ITC DGN team is working on make DGN editing similar to DWG and keep the same user interface for DWG users. That's why DWG terminology appears where possible in the DGN editor. Also, DGN entities have 2D and 3D versions, for example, line, but the IntelliCAD DGN editor creates only a 3D version. However, all 2D entities created in different editors can be displayed and modified, for example, with commands like move, trim, extend. Let's move to the automation process. The DGN editor supports script execution, about 80% of Lisp functions, and SDS is supported currently. Also, the DGN editor supports system variables. For example, the snapang system variable is the same as in DWG. It's stored in a database. So if you close and open the file, snapang saves its value and doesn't depend on DWG. For scripts that need to know whether DGN or DWG file is active, the drawing type system variable has been implemented. That's all I have about DGN editor for now. Please leave your comments and thank you for watching this video.